It was the end of the 2020 NFL campaign, and the Carolina Panthers owner stepped down. From then, the new owner took the reins. What would this new owner bring? Well, this owner's name was Gregory Reddick, and he was a wealthy businessman. Fans were excited for Reddick, but the hype started to die down on day one. His first move of business was a trade of a Panthers star running back, Christian McCaffrey. He threatened Matt Rule's job over the trades he made. The return for the star was a measly first-round pick for 2022. He then started to trade and release the players that made the Panthers the Panthers. Young players, electric players. Carolina fans had started to protest, but it was too late. Reddick started the process of relocation, and the Panthers fans were devastated. Roger Goodell put a poll up, and 98% of Panthers fans voted to veto the owner's rights to dictate the team's decisions and money management. But the damage had been done. The team was already in the process of relocation, and the team was moved to Brooklyn because of New York's market. They would go by the Barons. Then a new coach would come in, Coach Phil Douglas, a genius scouter and game planner. Could he rebuild this broken team? First order of business was signing free agents such as Marcus Williams and Darius Geis. Will he lead this team to the promised land? Find out in this video. What up, guys, and welcome to the Barons Rebuild. We're going to be playing every game of the season and rebuilding through the draft and free agency. If you saw the intro to my video, you know that we had an awful owner, so my head coach had to take range of the ownership and the head coaching job. We got the quarterback. He wasn't the quarterback we expected, but with an O-line this bad, we needed a scrambling slash improvising quarterback so we can get out of trouble. And for running back, we signed Darius Geis, um, controversial player, but we needed him. Um, our O-line, especially. Look at our O-line. Look how bad this is. So we're going to have to work with this. Ian Thomas, he can be developed. Um, Greg Little, he's decent. Our defense, though, we got we got Marcus Williams in the draft. We got Jayon Brown, but we moved him to left outside linebacker. But this is the dude I'm excited about. He's a 78 overall hidden Left outside linebacker, we moved to left end, so he's 79 hidden. And we got this dude, I believe he was in the second round, 77 D tackle. And then this one is another D tackle, who's a 78 is a D tackle. And we got him in the fourth round. There are a lot of good depth D, D tackles in the draft. We also have this dude. I don't know how good he is. Same with this dude. But special teams, I mean, we can do anything with Joey Sly. 99 kick power, you can't really deny that. And specialist, so... He's going to be my rushing right end or left end Elias, and Day is going to be my D tackle. I can't get that other D tackle to rushing right end, so I'm just going to start Day there and um, whoever Weatherly is right there. Um, I'm going to hop into our first game. I do not expect to win with a team like this. And actually, I'll see you at the regular season so we can do upgrading players. I will be playing the full game, um, but who do I need to upgrade? Basically, no rookies. I don't believe so. I'm just going to auto-upgrade. Um, we need to set my goal. I'm going for, honestly, four wins. If, if we can get a win against the Seahawks, <laughs> that'd be clutch, but I don't think we will in week one. I will be playing the full game. I'm just going to sim training for now. I'll do some off-camera. Also, it is on all Madden, so just so you guys can see it, and I'm going to hop into the full game. Oh, wait. I have more players to upgrade. Who is it? Um, I mean, Marcus Williams, but I'll just auto-upgrade him. But I'm going to hop into the full game, and I'll see you for our first game. Alrighty. First play of the Barons franchise ever. Matt Pilardi off of the kick, and it's a good one. Will it be a touchback? He needs it. So, first play of the Barons franchise was not a touchdown. Looking successful so far. And... I'm going to be very scared of Russell Wilson, so I might later in the game, if he starts, like, if he has a tendency to scramble, I might put a spy on him. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing, but a good tackle for loss, I believe. I believe it's for loss. And is that one of my rookies? It was. It's either, I don't know which one it is, but it's somebody good. It was Wagner. I don't know if he was a rookie. I think, yeah, he was. Uh-oh, it's a screen. Let's go. That's another rookie. And he got his first TFL. Good stuff. And so far, it's looking good. It's looking good for the team. And 
And oh, that's so dumb. Dang it, I thought I had him there. Now they have good field position. I'm running man because zone does not work in this game. It just doesn't. Okay, I guess man don't either. Come on, tackle him. Oh, and our own men tripped each other. Come on, pride. Okay, they're stopping the one. We have a chance, team. I'm just going to probably do a Sam Blitz. But that hurts. That's demoralizing. We thought we had him. Oh, and it's a toss. Great tackle for loss by Marcus Williams. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're holding the run game down. Alrighty. Now we have some slack. I do not want to press DK, but that's probably what I have to do. Oh, no. It's a motion. It's probably a run. Oh. Uh-oh. Good tackle. Did he get it? He did not get it. Come on, defense. We have to stop him here. Hold them to a field goal. Uh-oh. I do not like the position of Marcus. Come on, Marcus. Get on your man. Ah. I should have cut inside. That was on me. That's on me. But we have some flashes of greatness. We had some flashes of us being halfway decent. So let's see what our offense can do under our rookie quarterback. Alrighty. Our rookie improviser coming in. I think I'm going to utilize Darius guys a lot more than I should. But so far, Darius guys, first run, only one yard. But we'll get him rolling eventually. Um, let's run a pass play. I don't know if I like Thomas on the route, so I'm going to put him on an out route. I'm throwing it to Geis. Come on, I need that blocker downfield. But we got five yards still, and it's third and three. I think I'm going to run it. Yeah, I think I'm going to run it with Darius, guys. Hopefully, my guard can shift over to the middle linebacker position. And I have to run inside and... Darius guys bowls over. I think that was Bobby Wagner. Yes, it was. And a good first down pickup by Darius guys. And I think I'm gonna run the stretch play. Hopefully, I get a blocker on the outside. I'm gonna have to cut inside, but I only get two yards. It's good. We got this team. And it's a pass to West. I don't even know who this dude is, but he's juking out people. And a good first down pickup. Humphreys. I still don't know his first name. But um, maybe his name's Harold. I don't know. I'll call him Harold for now until I know his full name. Oh, I had I had the running back open on that Texas route. But Alex Anzalone gets the sack on the Barons. And that's the first let up sack. Of hopefully not too many, but I've seen our O-line, so it's probably going to be of many. And my quarterback has to scramble out, and it is an inaccurate pass, and that could have changed the tides of the team right there. But, actually, your pressing call, I don't even know how good Hall is. Hopefully, Jamal Adams drops, and he does not. And not a good pass by me, and that is the first interception of the series not a very good pass by me. That was awful me. I was panicking right there. I should have thrown it away and lived to fight another day. They get it at the 20-yard line. Hopefully, we can stop them. And it's a running back draw, and I'm right there with the TFL, and we are holding Chris Carson to get absolutely nothing. Man coverage is working, and me using Jayon Brown is working too. And the first quarter expires, and I thought it'd be much worse. I honestly thought it'd be 21 to 0, but we held them to only 7 points, so that's good. And throws it out of bounds. Good coverage and good pressure by my team right there. It is 3rd and 13. I'm going to drop into zone. Um, so hopefully we don't blow any coverages here. Uh oh. They can oh, that was me. That's on me. I did not see him there. Dang. I just need to get better at coverage. I need a stick there. That was on me. Dang it. Every time we're so close, I just mess up. But and a good tackle by Brown. We're destroying them in the running game. 
I might just want to keep on blitzing, honestly. That might be the move. And good stuff by my team for absolutely destroying Chris Carson. There's nothing he can do against us. And nobody there except Nickerson, and he gets the tackle. So we're able to get the ball back. Thank goodness our team stopped them. Our defense is actually playing so much better than I thought we'd play against Russell Wilson. And no blocking right there, but I have to weave past traffic, and I get to about the 30-yard line. I, I did not like our last drive. I panicked there. I threw an awful pick. I shouldn't have done that. That was that one's on me. But hopefully I can get myself together. And not good. So I have to throw it out. My goodness. I might try I might try a jet touch pass. This could be really good if somebody blocks Bobby Wagner. Please block somebody. And it is good. That was an unnecessary juke, but we still picked up the first down, and I'm probably going to run it with Darius Geis here. I just hope Bobby Wagner doesn't use his, basically, enforcer. Oh, God. I'm just not doing well in the running game currently. Um, I don't want to resort to the passing game too much because my receivers can't get open, and it takes way too much time. So, it, oh, and people are slipping, and I have to throw it out. Not many people getting open, so that's definitely not helping, but my O-line is just collapsing as I thought it would. I mean, I don't really have the best O-line. I have to throw it downfield to West, and it's a catch, and it's the first touchdown in Barron's franchise history. What a pass by my quarterback, and who is West? I don't even know who he is, but he's our number one receiver, or he's probably our slot receiver, but good stuff by him. And we are tied. I did not think I'd be tied. The Seahawks with a 73 overall team against an 83 overall team. We're doing well. Our defense, if our defense can hold them up, we have a legitimate shot. And a good hit stick. Good hit stick, whoever that was. Co e Ely, that's my rookie. That's right, Ely. I'm just going to keep going on man. You know, we're doing well with man. Hopefully, I don't just say that and then we fall apart with man. And, I mean, I wouldn't call that falling apart. We kind of contained DK Metcalf right there. And Carter with the sack. And he goes backwards in the two-minute warning. And if this could be an incomplete pass, we have a chance to score before halftime. Come on, boys. Open, they're running it. And luckily, we tackled him. We're destroying them in the run game. Let's get this pump, boys. I probably should have called a timeout there. But no regrets, baby. Come on, team. Alrighty, I need some blocking west. The crazy man. Oh, it's fine. We have a minute, 13 seconds left to drive down the field and at least get a field goal. We got this team. If the safety drops, if Jamal Adams drops, Thomas could be open, like wide open. And that's what happens. And what a catch. I did not expect that to work, but it did. Let's do this. Guys can be on a slant. Thomas could be on an in. This could be good. Uh-oh. Not good. And a pass all the way downfield. Guess who it is? It is West. What a catch. We're calling a timeout right now. Let's go. The beautiful improv by our quarterback. Still don't know his first name, but Humphreys is his last name. Come on, team. Uh-oh. No bueno. No bueno. I have to throw it out. I was in the pocket right there. But they still don't call it. Alrighty. 
And a catch by Ian Thomas, and that is a touchdown. And we are leading. Hopefully, they don't score another touchdown, but so far, we are leading going into halftime. And I missed the field goal. I don't know how I missed that field goal. I honestly don't know how, but, you know, a lead's a lead. If we score another touchdown, we'll go for a two-point. And what type of kick was that? That was awful. Luckily, they don't have too good a field position. So, hopefully we can... Hopefully the clock can wind down so we still have the lead during halftime. And I believe we get ball back. Yes, we do get ball back after halftime. So, this is looking very good for us. And Jayon Brown misses the hit stick. That was kind of me... Alrighty, they have 19 seconds left. They're at the logo. Hopefully, we can stop them here. Oh, it's a screen. That's not good. But I juke the man out. I juke the offensive player out. We got the tackle. Come on, team. Come on. Apply some pressure. Don't let him get out of bounds. Oh, no. He got out of bounds. Russell Wilson is playing very well. Alrighty, they have nine seconds. I'm saying already way too much. They have nine seconds left to score. Hopefully they don't get a field goal or a touchdown. They got out of bounds. Mm. Don't like that. And they're going for the field goal. Come on, miss it. And they made it. But we are still in the lead by three points. So that's good. They still need a field goal to catch up to us. And we get ball here at halftime. And West with the return. And he could have been gone. But we're at the 35 good field position. And West is an electric player. We need to get this run game going. We can't rely on the pass game fully. Even though the pass game is good, we need to get the run game going. And Darius Geis getting a first down. Good run by him. Hopefully we can get him moving this quarter or this half. And Darius Geis, that was basically the same play right there. But we are moving or pounding it. We got this. I'm not, Yeah, I'm going to run a play action play here. Hopefully, we don't get a sack immediately. And we pass it to Darius Geis. Oh, if the blocker was right there, that would have been perfect. But so far, Humphreys, maybe his name is Ty. I'll call him Ty Humphreys for now. So far, Ty Humphreys is having a phenomenal game. And I have to scramble. I have to throw it out of bounds. Didn't really have an option right there. I didn't want to force anything like I did in the first quarter. I'm going to put, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put Sullivan on an out route. Hopefully this works. It's a pass. Oh, and Ian Thomas drops it. But it's fine. It is third and ten. I I believe we're in field goal range. Um, Let me do, I feel bad about doing a play action, but the middle route is probably open. And it's intercepted. That's the dumbest pick I've seen, and Ian Thomas gets back up. That wasn't a good throw either way, but that was not a very good pick. And Jayon Brown with a good tackle, getting about five yards. Chris Carson is not having a good day. We are just stopping them left and right in the run. And Franklin could not move with him. I'm pressing conservative tackle, but it's not doing it well. Russell Wilson just destroying us with his accuracy. I'm going to keep doing man because man is amazing. And 
and just cannot hang with him. Right as I say, it's amazing. Dante Jackson. Or wait, is that? Yeah, Dante. I swear that's his name. <laughs> but Dante Jackson cannot hang with him. I don't like that. I don't like that. I had to move to zone immediately. And that was your zone, but you, you can run backwards. I'm fine with that. And he does not get forward progress. I'm I'm blitzing all out right here. We can stop them, boys. I believe in us. Uh-oh. It's a motion. And he could not stick with him. Franklin needs to get on his coverage. What is he doing? I believe Franklin is our rookie. That was awful coverage on Jordan Darn Reed. I believe that was Jordan Reed. Come on. We had good pressure, though. And he cannot tackle him, but Ely, the rookie, cleans up what could have been a touchdown right there. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> this could be a quarterback draw. Oh, my goodness. Who was, it? Who was covering the flats? Actually, wait. No, that was me. I didn't play call to cover the flats. Please don't run the ball here. Alrighty. Oh, I was too slow. I I nearly read that correctly. Almost. I'm gonna blitz here. Come on, come on, team. Hold them to a field goal. And Adams! Oh, that would have been a touchdown if I wouldn't have hit him there. Third and three. Come on, team. We got this. If we stop them here, they might take the field goal. Oh my gosh. I was slow, but that's man coverage. Is that is that Dante? Oh my goodness. Okay, so now they have a four point lead. I'm gonna wanna run time out of the clock during this next drive so they don't have a chance to score again. Hopefully, I'd, I'm probably going to run most of the plays unless it's like third down or something. That was an awful kick. Dang, the rain is affecting. And West? West has been really surprising. I need to see if he's like one of my rookies. But I'm just going to try to run time out of the clock and maybe, and probably, yeah, I'm going to have to score a touchdown. And Darius Geis getting a good amount of yardage right there. He's having a solid game when it comes to yards per carry. I could do this, but I'm not going to. I do not want any fumbles. I don't want to do an RPO right now. I just want to run it. But I guess you can't always do it. That was not a smart pass. That was not a smart pass at all. But I, I got very lucky that Bobby Wagner did not pick that off. That's insane. And Ty Humphreys scrambling and getting about 15 yards on the rush. Good rush by Ty Humphreys, and this is why I picked him. He's an improviser when things fall apart on the O-line, and we need that since our O-line is not good at all. And he throws it, overthrows it again, but it's okay. I'm going to run it here. And Darius Geis getting about three on that carry, I believe. Now it's third and seven. We really, we really need to get this first down bad. We're going to run this play. And it's a pass to Hull. And it's a touchdown. And we're winning currently. Now the Seahawks do have a chance to score a touchdown and beat us in the game. But if our defense can step up, we could actually beat the Seahawks. That's insane. And thank goodness our kicker made that. Thank goodness. Come on, team. I believe in you. Apply some pressure.
And it's a screen. It's a screen. And a good hit stick. I believe that's not a first down. Second and two. Russell Wilson's only thrown two incompletions this entire game. I think they're going to run it here. So I'm going to do kind of a blitz into man coverage. And Marcus Williams with the sack. Beautiful. And now it's third and seven. I'm going to go into zone. I'm going to do cover two sync, though. No, I can't do that. I can't do that because oh, this is not good. And it's picked off. <laughs> Let's go. Dante Jackson. Beautiful pick. And if we run the clock out, we could win the game. I need this man to block, and this could be a very good play. And I had to cut inside, but Darius Guys powering forward. Darius Guys is having a very efficient game on the ground. He's having a better game than Chris Carson. But in our first game, we could actually win. That's insane. Oh, and the cut. <laughs> I nearly had that. Hopefully, we can get this first down. If we can get this first down, it's most likely game. I don't really like that. I'll do inside zone. Come on. Oh, and Darius Geis breaks free for the touchdown. And that is game over. Our first win in our first game with the Brooklyn Barons. We had no business against the Seahawks. But we won. Barons debut for how bad our team was. We had a phenomenal game. Two interceptions, but one of that interception was dumb. The other interception was totally my fault, and I own up to that. 205 yards, but three touchdowns. Darius Skies had a great rushing game right there. Tanner Humphreys didn't have that bad of a rushing game either, but I did sim like the final minutes on offense, so that's why his average runs were awful. Um, Emmanuel Hall had a touchdown, and who is Cody West? Cody West is a rookie. Phenomenal game by Cody West. He could get a breakout player. Um, who got the sacks on our team? I think it was Marcus Williams. Oh, Jeremiah Carter got two sacks, and Marcus Williams got one. He could probably get a breakout player, too. Wait, is he? Yeah, he's star. Never mind. But Dante Jackson, good pick. Uh, that One of those picks was so dumb. That was all my fault. Um, let me see TFLs. What did our rookies do? Um, Marcus Williams, Mac Day, our D tackle. Got a good TFL. Um, where is Ely? Ely got two tackles. I mean, not too good, but he is a right end, so it will take time. But for the first game of the year, with how bad we are, great win against the Seahawks. And our next episode, I don't know who we're going to be facing, but we're going to be facing another team. So maybe we could have that outcome. I doubt it, though. I think we kind of got lucky there. Some of the plays, but... Anyways, this is Gridiron Plays, signing out.